Three, two, one, go. What's up, y'all? So I'm going to just do a T pose. Of course, I'm going to set my colors to matte cap just because it's easier to sculpt PXG clay. Make sure I'm in orthographic. Here's our grid. Of course, I'm going to make a floor first. So let's add a cylinder. We'll shrink it down. And use the gizmo to bring it up. I think I'm going to do a super beginner tutorial after this. I know some people aren't able to follow my super simple one, so I'm going to do a super, super, super simple one. We'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and up this to two. This is more just visual for me. I tend to like, I like a nice round platform for my characters to stand on. So, okay, that looks pretty good. And if you're, if you're doing anything and, and you notice that it looks like a disco ball, it's probably just smooth shading. So you can go here to the materials and then just go down to smooth shading. If yours is off, then the sphere might look like a disco ball. So you can put it on auto or on. All right, so I don't even know how I'm gonna do this. So let's move this up. Let's move that up and maybe this will be the head. Let's rename it. I don't even know what this character is gonna be like. But that's how I roll. Let me name this floor. Get it off solo. So for the body, I don't want to do box. So we'll move the box up. I want to shrink it this way. Let's see. Oh, you know, I don't know why I was I was just thinking that it was a that I'd be able to do some things that I can't do with it. All right, so I'm gonna use the gizmo and I wanna shrink it and I kinda want it to taper. So let's go ahead and validate it. Let's move this head up. I'm gonna use select mask for this and the rectangle. It's my favorite way to like, oops. Make sure I'm on the body. Taper things that can't be tapered. So we'll do like this, and then we'll do a little of that, and then we'll bring it down. Can even taper it a little more. Like something like that. Go back here and clear the mask. And then I will, maybe I'll do it again up here. just to shake things up a little bit. And I'll clear. Looks pretty good. I'll hit it with a round edge a little bit, make it nice and round. Kind of an interesting, interesting shape. So we'll see, maybe it'll work. Maybe I'll change it, you never know. You never know with me. But I think that's good. Let's add another, mm. let's add another sphere for the pelvic area. We'll just shrink it and move it up. Oh, let me get rid of this grid. We don't need the grid anymore. Shrink it this way. For the legs, we'll go with um, some cylinders. We'll stretch them. Let's make the thighs fairly small.
and let's let's mirror it. Let's mirror this cylinder. So then, within within that mirror, we can mirror we can clone it, and then this clone, I'll just use the gizmo and bring it down and over a little bit, and I want to thicken it up, shorten it. And we can use radius, and I want to make this part bigger, like that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I like it. I'm going to validate, validate, and you know what? We can just validate both of these. So we'll validate that mirror. This will be the, actually... Um, let me see, there was something I wanted to do that I noticed. Oh, it looks like I can still do it. If we use symmetry and mirror, make sure there's no color. I just wanted to bend, bend that off of the center so that they're not, like, touching. Also, while we're at it, let's take drag and let's drag the back up. Oh, it's not. Oh, I think I have to use move. It's weird because you can use move and it'll just affect like the specific mesh, even though they're together. But drag won't. Drag will kind of try to connect everything. So I'm just bending this up kind of crudely. But that's okay. exactly what I wanted. So I got some funny little legs there. And for the arms, I'm supposed to do a T-pose, aren't I? So let's see. Oh, I think a tube is good. I probably could have used a tube for the legs. Maybe next time. Let's do path. We don't need snap. And I'm just going to do a path like this and like this. Make that an arm. Okay, so I think I want to thicken this up a little bit. Let's hit radius. Actually, I like to do all three at the same time so I can just, oops, freely edit all this stuff. Do I want, I think I want this part of the arm bigger. I think I want an arm like that. Kind of funny looking. But I think it's cool. <laughs> um, I would like to... I wish I could angle this more. I'll have to do it manually. Let's go ahead and mirror it. Looks good. So now for the head. Let's go ahead and turn on... X is good. Yeah, let's, I think X is okay. Let's use move. It needs to be more square, definitely, because the body is kind of like squarish. So I kind of want it to... Gonna move the head up because the neck would, the neck would come straight down. So you don't want to actually. Do we want to give him a neck? Maybe he. I don't know if he deserves a neck. That feels about right. Let's give him a neck. I don't usually do the whole neck business, but. So this mirror is legs. Let me go ahead and. So we've got legs, these are the arms. These tubes, and you know what? Let's just go ahead and validate those arms. And um, you can see that the pivot is weird with the arms, so I'm gonna do pivot, center, pivot. So that kind of centers that out. The sphere is the pelvic. I did not need to zoom that closely. 
pelvic region. So let's back it up. And while we're at it, we can take these thighs, use move. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> and we'll just bend these out a little bit. I've been doing a lot of butts, but I don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if, I guess, I guess since I mentioned it, I have to give them a butt now. I, supp I suppose. I've been seeing some, some of the professionals kind of give them like a, Oh, what do their butts look like? Is it like a cylinder butt? I can't remember. I can't remember the butt that I saw. I think it was like a box butt. I can't even remember the character. But I'm always... Uh... I know I'd rather do it with a sphere. Let me delete this. Add a sphere... I don't remember how, how I saw it. So it was kind of wide. And let me go ahead and validate it. And I'll use move. So it was wide like a butt, but it was kind of like. Don't worry, it's not going to be sticking out that far. Yeah, it was kind of like that. actually exactly what it looked like it was like sort of sort of a box but sort of a cylinder but I, I thought it was respectable I thought it was a respect respectable but if you're not going to do cakes if he's not going to be caked out all right so the body I like to do even though this is just a t-pose I want to I want to put a little bend in the back, so make sure symmetry is on and just kind of I like to bend it back a little bit. You gotta bring it back to my my drawing days, my college days. Let's take drag. Do I want to take drag or move? Maybe drag, even on the back, and I'll just bring these up and together. I don't mind if this part goes down. I'll even bring it down and kind of open it up a little bit. Look at that. It's nice. It's nice and thin. Let's give him a neck. So we'll add a cylinder. We'll use our gizmo. Bring it up. Give him a respectable neck. No, nah, actually, I don't know if I'll we'll respect. Well, what is a respectable neck? Anyway, what is that? I don't even know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, I can use my thingy, my radius, but it's not a tube, so I can't. I can't make the top wider and the bottom wider. So maybe we'll just do the top a little bit wider. Bring that, we'll move that up, make it a little wider. I think that makes sense. Okay. Okay, the arms, he doesn't really have shoulders. I guess I dropped the ball on the shoulders. Let's add a sphere. Let's move it up. And let's make, let's give this rascal a shoulder. So let's move it back. Let's take these arms and move them back a little bit and maybe down a little bit. Yeah. I think something like that works. We'll go ahead and mirror it. I think that makes sense. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and validate these, and then I'm just going to have some fun and drag the back of them towards the back. 
And maybe we'll take this bit and just push it up a little bit. Okay, let's do, oh, we could do this, the sphere situation. Oh, do I want to do cylinders though? Hmm, it's tricky for the chest. This was real. this was actually supposed to be a super simple character. I don't know what happened and I apologize, kind of. Let's do snap and do it forward. And then we can just back it on up and we can make two chest jewel chest chestuses yeah i didn't even mean to did i already oh this is in a different mirror let's mm. so it's over there i want it over here though if i mirror it oh there we go okay we'll just deal with one for now Uh, let's see. So let's... Do I want to validate it already? We'll validate it soon. Let's, let's take... Snap, print, turn Snap off and... Oh, I gotta go move my car. It's like... It's almost 3 a.m., but I still gotta go move my car. Because it's either now or I have to do it in the morning. Or tomorrow. I'm forced to do it tomorrow. And I don't like being forced to do things. Okay, that's a decent looking chest, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, use our gizmo. And uh, spread them a little bit, kind of make them touch like that. Let's go ahead and validate. Let's validate these puppies. All right, I think that looks pretty good. You know what, let's clone. Maybe we can get away with the little underside as well. He doesn't need to be crazy, like muscular, but that's what happens. You just start to like have a good time and next thing you know, you're doing some little crazy, man. All right, so let's take these arms it would be cool to, no, I'm not gonna pose them now because someone mentioned a program that I wanna try to bring them into. AccuRig or something like that, so I'm gonna try it. Okay, so this is good. Let's go ahead and polish off the rest of this. So this the arms, I did validate. So what I wanna do is take Flatten and let's see if these are too soft for this. Oh, they look okay. So I'm just flattening them, so you know what? Let's go ahead and let's save first off. I haven't saved at all. Um, what is what is today? Jan 30. So let's box remesh these at like 150. And then take flatten. And I want to flatten out this side because I want to. I want to make the palm. So I'm just flattening that out so that can be the palm. You can smooth everything too. Okay, so I'm just going to use tube and path. And I don't want to spend too much time on fingers, so I'm going to try to keep this pretty quick. So for the thumb, we're going to do, oops, we're going to do two like that. I think these are probably all going to be black. So let's use the, actually we can just use the nodes for his little thumb. Okay, if it's a T-pose, then he has to be, I don't think it has to be like a perfect T-pose, whatever that is. But. Let's see, if his hands were like this, the thumbs would be kind of like straight out. Let's 
Let's see how that looks. Okay, so we got the tube. We'll make this finger, thumb. I'm just going to clone it. Oops. And I just want to move it in there. Take this little orange circle in the middle. Try to maneuver it in place. Not the easiest thing. And sometimes I hate it. I kind of want to just give them three fingers just to make my life easier. Maybe I'll give them four. Maybe four is a little bit more respectable. Okay, let's go back to the tube and maybe we'll make it a little bit longer. It looks decent. It looks decent. Let's go to Gizmo so I can clone. I want to do pivot center pivot. No, clone. I forgot when you do anything else, it negates the clone. Ollie. I should have some I should have some fingers that I can just um keep. Actually, yeah, that's what I need to make. I need to make like some hands that I can just reuse so I don't have to do all this nonsense all the time. Okay, that's good. I'm going to clone it and then I'm going to move the, his last finger somewhere over here. It's the pinky so it can be a little smaller. Here we go. That's kind of where I wanted it. Something like that. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know why I'm doing that either. Okay. Oh, you know what we can do? I forgot. We can do the profile. And make them nice and squarey. It's my favorite. There's not many things I love more than a good squarey finger. And I can take the profile and I can make them thinner. I don't want to make them thinner that way. I want to make them thinner this way. I kind of want the tips to be bigger. So... Let me do this with all of them and then figure that out. Let's move this over, move this down a little bit. So I'm thinking if I want the tips, oh, I forgot the thumb profile and here we go, something like that. And this feels wrong. This feels like it should be something like that okay so what was I just saying oh I want to try to figure out a way to Make this part like a little bit more beefy than the other parts. I guess I could use the radius and just make it bigger here. I wonder if I make the whole thing bigger. I wonder if I can taper it. That looks crazy. I wonder if I can offset it though. I 
I kind of like the offset a little bit. It doesn't seem like much, but I kind of like it just setting another node and just having that little offset. I like it. And then bending it down slightly. I guess I could, oh, nope. Forgot these are all different, different um, meshes. Maybe, maybe we'll try to do radius. Maybe we'll make them a little wider. Now this one, I feel like our thumbs are smaller right before Oh my god. So let's do one of those. And then if we have radius three times, maybe we can make this smaller. I feel like thumbs just do that. You know? They just like get smaller there. Okay. Noise. So I'm going to validate all of these fingers. Oops. Can't validate with this freaking thing in the way. The scene thing is so how can I how can I shrink this? What are we doing here? I literally can't validate them. So I'll validate these and I want to just join them together. Yeah, let me join it together and then add a mirror. So we have our fingers on the other side as well. So now let's do a quick save. We got 27 minutes. All right, so look, we gotta do something for his, his face. What do we wanna do for his face? Let's give him some, uh, let's see. Let's give him some sort of like Batman-esque type ears. What mirror am I in? We'll just call these ear ets. I don't know if they're going to be ears. These are the th oh, these are the fingers. Let's go ahead and validate those. These are the fingers, and I'll do pivot center pivot just so the pivot's in the right place. And then back to these. I'll use my gizmo and shrink it up a bit. Maybe we'll put it down. Kind of like those, um, what is that, what is that character? Uh, Black Panther-esque type earsies. They're kind of small little like nubs. They're kind of cool looking. So we'll do something like that. We'll mirror it, validate it, and then we can adjust it if we want. I'm thinking maybe I'll just adjust it a little bit. Pull it in a little bit from the back, like a cat. I keep wanting to go and do both sides. I kind of like that. Uh, let's give him some toes. Not actual toes, but what is this cylinder? This is the neck. Validate it. Pelvic, we can validate that. I'll do another quick save. And let's add some toes. So we'll, where's his legs? Oh, this is the chest, all that chest stuff. So we'll mirror that. Actually, I wanted to, let's see if I can. The only thing I wanted to do with these guys is make them a little bit less round and a little bit more squarish. Possibility. Good enough. Oh, these are the shoulders, so we'll validate those. And I'm just going to join them with the arms for now. And we have the fingers. Oh, I hear the legs. So let's do add. And do I want to do a sphere? Yeah, let's do a sphere. So I'm just going to shrink it. Yeah, we're just going to do like some kind of like boots. Nothing too crazy. 
I do like that shape as we have it right there. I think something like that is nice. Um, so we have the sphere. Let's add a cylinder and maybe we can maybe we can even match that and just make this the like a connector part of the shoe. So I'll lift it up here. So, oops. So you can kind of see it. I'm just going to tilt it. And kind of push it down. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it looks like it's part of the shoe. Maybe right about there. Uh, validate it. Then I'll use move, and I think I just want to maybe pull it down some. Maybe even take drag and like pull this side up. Or does that look silly? I think it looks kind of interesting. Yeah, I think that'll I think that'll work. It'll just make it a little thicker. Okay. So we have this sphere here. I'm going to go ahead and mirror that. I'll bring the cylinder in there. So they should both be mirrored. Good. I guess we can. I can shape this a little bit more. I'll squeeze it together like so okay there we go so these I'm just going to validate and and I think I'm just going to con connect the legs so we have these we have the legs let's do a quick save so Vox will remesh everything at like 200. Just see what happens. I'll use my round edge. Just smooth everything out. Looks pretty good. And I guess, I mean, let's take these and let's do round edge on these as is. And then let's just join everything together. So we have the ears. We'll go ahead and validate those. They look pretty good. I guess I want to do the head with it. So what are we going to do with the head? What kind of eyes do we want? Sometimes I use crease for the head and I'll like kind of draw out the eyes. Maybe I'll do... Okay, it's kind of interesting. It doesn't really look like anything else, I don't think. So let's take, do I want to do layer? Let's do layer and symmetry. We just need to get dig out the rest of this. Let's use sub. Let's make it a little smaller, might be easier. Actually, there's another way to do it. Let's take uh, mask, and then we can just draw it. It's probably a little bit easier. Sometimes I just, it's hard for me to not do things the easier way. My brain is always thinking of the hardest way to do things. But I'm sure that it will be pointed out in the comments. I guess this really doesn't have to be super clean. As clean as I'm making it, it really doesn't. So let's do the mask settings and invert. And then we'll use gizmo. And then we'll just push this in, we'll flatten it up. So we'll push that in and then we can clear the mask. 
gonna do a quick save and then I'm gonna box remesh the head because yeah just because so what else do we want to do here Uh, it'd be kind of cool. You know, I really like these. Uh, I just wanted to give them, like, eye. They look kind of big, so I figured I would just make them even more big. The mouth, though. What kind of mouth do we want? Now, do we even want, like, an open mouth? Because we could do some crazy stuff, like trim and lasso. And you could just, like... Do something like this. How crazy. I can't believe it painted it black. I don't know why this stroke painting is on. Now I have to go to this thing and paint it white. That's kind of crazy. But I like it. I'm going to box remesh again. And then I'm going to do... Oh, you know what? If we're going to go with it, let's just go with it. So I'm going to do a quick save, and then let's take the head. The floor should be on the bottom. What is this sphere? Oh, that's the, that's the tuchus. So we'll take that, and we'll take mirror, mirror, fingers, arms, legs. It's tricky because let's just select everything and make sure nothing is, like, really small. Oh, I think, is that the, there's a box somewhere that's really small. I don't know what it is. Oh, it's this. So let's go ahead and go to multi-res and subdivide. Because I find that things look really bad when they're, some things are really large and some things are small. So I'm just going to uh, subdivide the neck too. Fingers seem okay. Ears seem okay. So let's just take everything. Do another quick save. You can tell I'm paranoid. So we'll do it at like 250. And let's just smooth. Make sure symmetry's on so you don't have to start over. Let's see how these fingers do. Doing good. Butt looks good. Feet look good. Chest looks okay. I was a little aggressive there. A little as in very aggressive. Smooth out the top. Leave a little definition on the bottom. You can soften the whole thing a little bit. I love just making crazy looking things. So much fun. Even like, <clears throat> excuse me, even like uh, pencil and paper. Like I've always just loved to do crazy looking things. Interesting looking things. For a while I was doing like photorealistic stuff. But I don't know about you, but I, after a while, my the worst compliment is, Oh, I thought it was a picture. Like, I get it. Like, I, I do like realism. But there's just something about spending hours and hours and hours working on things and trying to get them to be perfect only for people to just think it's a photo. Because most photos, like, aren't really, like, spectacular. So like sometimes you can just you can get something to look like a photo, but then it doesn't look spectacular. Oh god, these things are so weird here. I probably should have thought of something else. Let's play with move and see if there's anything that we want to do here. Maybe elongate the face a bit. That's so creepy. I love it. So sometimes I like to take flatten and just flatten out different parts. I 
feel as though flatten gives it a very finished sort of look. Let's add some spheres. We can use these for the eyes. Use our gizmo and bring the spheres up. Okay, we'll stretch it and then we'll kind of maneuver it in there. And then we can polish it off with, oh, it's not gonna move my car. I don't know if I wanna get up and go outside to be honest. Okay, we'll mirror it and I'll validate it and then we'll just use move to kind of get it in there. However I want it. very odd. I kind of want to give him a little bit more of a chin. I don't even know if that's possible at this point in time. Drag, maybe? So crazy looking, <laughs> so funny. Um, let's add some quick teeth. So we'll just use spheres and just bring them out in front and flatten them. I don't know why I started talking loud all of a sudden. I'm gonna push it back into his head and down. Very simple, and then just mirror it. And then go back to gizmo and then you can just separate them and we can actually just make them however we want I'm thinking he just has some rows of these little teeth so now we can just clone it might be easier to do a line let's see Okay, we'll do the tilt so everything is nice and follows the same direction into the mouth. Let's bend them out a little bit for fun. All right, I'm gonna take this one, clone, back and up. And I'm just gonna go along this ridge Sometimes I get, I get so caught up in these like little details. Clone, let's do a couple more. Maybe I'll make them getting smaller. Let's make this one a little smaller. go. Maybe we'll do one more up there. You know I love to make teeth. You knew I was going to make teeth like this. You knew. <laughs> uh, it would be kind of cool to make a tongue area back there, but I don't know if that's even possible. 
So I'm going to take all of these and um, what am I going to do with these? Let's actually make the top ones. So we can just clone and just move them up. Clone these. And the top ones, I don't, they don't have to be super perfect. Clone. Mostly because I could just be here forever doing this stuff. Okay, let's clone the next one. Yeah, I gotta, I really gotta practice doing simple characters next. It's so difficult. All right, we'll clone this bad boy as well. We'll make it really small. save and then I'm going to take all of these and just validate join children and these are going to be the TVs so what I was saying before I might try if I want to try to make like a tongue and a tongue area I'll just protect that part whoops I gotta make sure I'm on the head or the body protect that part and protect all of this and then maybe I can get um, a layer in there with sub so I might be able to get a layer in there and get some space it's not too bad smooth it out so there's some sort of difference in you know a level back there and then just go ahead and add its sphere Oh, let's clear this first. Mask, clear. Let's bring up this sphere. We'll shrink it. Yeah, I've been so lost in trying to figure out physics in Blender. Because I did like some manual like bouncing, but I wanted to do like physics, but soft body is so difficult. Soft body is kind of like you have like rigid which is like you know things falling but like they're hard nothing like bouncy or kind of squishy uh, so the, the squishy ones I have done have all been manual so that's like me doing the whole thing but they do have soft body but it's so hard to control and my computer is not that great so it's a little difficult I think that's good for a tongue I didn't explain it, so hopefully you saw what I did. I just have two spheres, and I kind of bend them. And it sort of just gives it a nice little... Uh, I'm going to validate the whole thing. Do a quick save, and then I'm going to just Fox Remesh it. So I can smooth that out. I don't know, it just gives it a little that little bend. It's kind of like a heart, too. Smooth it out. And then... Pivot, center pivot, when the pivot is nowhere to be found. And then I'll just place it in there. That looks good. I'm going to stretch it out. Here we go. Maybe widen it a little bit. Looks good. Okay, so these eyes, uh, let's do a quick save. It'd be cool to, I think I want to voxel remesh the eyes at like around 200. And it'd be cool to put two slits in there. Like maybe just taking select mask or maybe mask. Uh, do I need symmetry? No, 
Yeah, something exactly like that. Oh, it might be easier to just do it as a shape, though. I was going to do mask, invert, and then just do it this way. And then clear. But it might be better as a, sh as a, a shape. I'm not sure. Because I think if I use it as a shape, I can have less of a poly size. That's really cool, though. Okay, what shape is that? That is a... What's the best way to make that shape and make it like nice and crisp? I think a cylinder. What is it? Oh, 51? Oh, I have like 10 minutes left. So I'm going to bring it up. Use snap and snap it down. And shrink it. And I want to validate it. And I want to, oh, what is it? Symmetry, vertex, vertex. And I think it should be, oh, let's change the, let's change this to the green and local. Nope, oh, okay, it didn't work. Oh, I'm in a mirror, let me, let me take this cylinder out. Symmetry, vertex, still not working. Let's go back here. Come on, be nice. Oh, there we go. That was the one. So it wasn't, it was the Z. So you do all that stuff and then you can kind of spread it out like that. Okay. This is what I wanted to do, I think. I'm going to turn symmetry off and just put this back to auto. And then shrink it and then shrink it this way. And I'm going to move this into one space it's kind of cool it's actually kind of cool even big like that so my my idea was to take move and i don't even think i need symmetry let's validate it first or otherwise it'll move crazy like it just did so we remesh it and f actually first let's take move and push it out from the back for example, let's turn a line off and snap off because they're going to have to be in the eye kind of like this, but that's always going to look weird. So it actually doesn't look too bad. But I'm going to push to give it that nice natural bend. Um, hmm. I think I do need symmetry. I think I need, yeah, there we go. That way, when we push it from the back, it's equal. It's evenly going out. That's what we want, even though it doesn't look even. It better be even. So now I'm going to just use, what do I want to use now? I'll use Z, the top and the bottom, still symmetry. And I just want to, I want to test this out. Because this is how it was originally I wanted to put the eye in. Maybe I'll shrink it a little bit, squeeze it together a little bit. Something like this, but why is it, is it actually, did I do too much? I might have done too much. That's okay, I'll just take move and just manually move it. Manually move part of it as needed. So it's right on the surface. Maybe I need a little tilt on it. Just a little tilt. Get that edge. Yeah. See how that looks. I don't know where my view, my view is just... 
Okay, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to do a line because I think I might need to bring it over a little bit more. Oh, my head isn't in frame just now. Sometimes I like, my head gets too close. This is like the tricky parts, like where to put the eyes. It's a little tricky. So do I want to do that or do I want to give them more of like a... Oh, I think that looks better. So let's take the eye and... Oh, I mean add a mirror. Oh no. Okay, how can I, how can I do this? Um, let's do world. And let's see if I can but flip object. Okay, so that's right. So now it should work. So I'll just go to mirror and now it should work with world. So I'm gonna validate those. These are the eyes. And what are these? Oh, I'll validate these two. These are the eye whites. What is this sphere? Oh, that's the body. Main body. That's creepy. Let's do save. Cool. Uh, so I pretty much got it done in an hour, you know, not knowing what the heck I was doing. I think it looks pretty interesting. So 475k was probably way too high. Let's see what we can decimate. So let's go miscellaneous, decimate, decimate. How are these fingers looking? Hmm. What I want to do, do a quick save. I'm going to voxel remesh the body higher at like 500 or maybe like 400. And see if I can smooth these without losing so much. It's still losing a lot of... Uh, I'm just smoothing the other underside of these fingers. Oh, the top looks a bit crazy too. But this is what I usually do with my hands. Oh, I hope I have symmetry on so I don't have to do it to the other side as well. That looks like it's doing it. Give it that nice like round ball at the end. God, look how bad this thumb looks. It's insane. I guess I just didn't smooth it. So I'll take flatten and don't run away from me. Flatten this up. Okay, that looks good. Take flatten again. I'm going to flatten here. Flatten here as well. Flatten there. Flatten here. Flatten there. Smooth that out a bit. there. Okay, maybe we'll do a couple round edges just for the fun of it. And maybe I want Is that too creepy looking? It's probably too creepy looking, isn't it? I like it. Do 
We want to do a quick tube, path, snap. Maybe we'll do curve. Do a little something like that. Make it nice and creepy. So I'll do two, I'll do radius three times. Oh, and turn snap off. And then I'll make sure these are nice and thin here so I can bury them in the mesh to have a nice fluid end of like this. We'll make this a little bigger. Look at that. I could bring this, do I want to bring this out? I'll bring it out a little bit. I'll bring this out a little bit too. We'll mirror it, validate, validate this. These are the lashies. What is this mirror? Oh, that's the tongue. So a quick, oops, not a box, save. Okay, so now we have a T-pose so I can play around with that that app if I want. I think it's called Accurig. I have to check because someone left it on my comments. And we'll just see, we'll just see what happens. I do need to make it smaller though, so let's decimate. So we'll just decimate, 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 decimate. I don't, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep having to repeat it. Oh, now it's starting to mess up, so we'll leave it at 16. That's a little weird looking though. I'll leave it fairly high and we'll try the app and then see how low I have to decimate it. We'll decimate these teeth. These are just spheres, so they should be have a little more leeway. The eyes, we'll decimate those. They're also should give me a lot of leeway. As well as these crazy looking pupils. We'll leave it there, even though that's kind of high, but that's all right. The lashes, we can do decimate, decimate. And that's not too bad. Oh, you know what we have to do though? We can hide the floor. Actually, we can just get rid of the floor. And actually, before we get rid of it, let's trim the, the feet. So we'll use trim and rectangle, and we'll just trim We'll trim that foot, and then let's use split. Mm, actually, let's clone the main body. And let's use trim. And we'll trim the whole thing, except for the very bottom row. So this will be the sole. We'll move everything up except for the sole. And the sole will move down. We'll make it bigger. And sometimes you have to trim one. I'm going to turn symmetry off and just trim one of them so that we only have one of them. Pivot, center, pivot, and make it bigger. It's easier to make it bigger if there's only one. There we go, that looks perfect. That looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and trim the bottom right underneath. And then I'm gonna voxel remesh this. Well, you know what? I'm going to box remesh it higher. Round edge. Beautiful. And then I'm going to decimate it. Oi. Soles are bigger than I would have liked, but that's okay. Oh well. So let's take the sole and let's add a mirror. 
So now it's on the other side. So now he has a sole. I was thinking about trimming the, the foot, but that's okay. Uh, what are we validating? Are we validating the soles? Yeah. Soles. Do a quick save. All right, so I'm not gonna color. Do I want to color him? No, I'm not gonna color him. I'm just gonna do a quick little lighting because he looks cool. So first we'll do, we'll go here and then Metcap to lit PBR. And I'm gonna select everything and I'm gonna change it to my favorite color, this terracotta color, paint all. Turn the environment off, which is my own environment you can get from Gumroad. And then turn this on, turn it up to two. I don't know why I never just like, oh, I can't tap it. I thought you could tap it and look at that. Let's do add view, name this one. Okay, so this will be the key. We'll clone it. This will be the rim. So we'll put the rim over here. Let's turn on show light icons. Let's put the key up to where it's actually looks like it's pointing. This one, we'll spin it around, get a nice, a nice rim of light on him like that. It looks great. Uh, and now let's clone this again and we'll do uh, rim two. We'll bring it over here and this will be just like more light on him from the other side. Maybe a little more, a little lighter, brighter. We'll lower this down a little bit. And then last but not least, I like to add a light and change it from sun to spot. And then I like to shine it on the face area. Make sure the face is nice and lit well. Okay, something like that. It might be actually a little bit too bright. Okay, so now we have that. We can turn the environment off, but turn it way down. And let's turn post-process on. I'll turn the quality up, and then I want to do my once you get once you get a good um, post process, just hit clone, and you can always use your settings, and that's what I do. But here, if you want to see them, here are my settings. I think that's it. All right, that's pretty cool. So the only other thing I would do to this character is maybe change. Do I want the eyes, teeth? change certain things to subsurface the body change the subsurface maybe turn it down a little bit um, it just makes things look pretty interesting to me we'll go to my view we'll turn off the lights if i can find them and select and then go down here and that's pretty much it so i'll bring i'll try to bring it in that application and I'll let you know how it goes. Might also bring him into Blender. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.